quite a nice sunset. Anyway, so we've got the pack here. All starving because it's, it's so cold, not many people feed them now. So they're all starving. Um, we're all here, that's Ellie there. <laughs> Bless her. But there's a behavioral change with Ed. And I think it's because he's been outcast from the group. I've been monitoring it for weeks and um, nearly every single swan has a go at him. And he's been outcast and he's right over there. We've just been to see him. And he just looked at us as if he didn't know me. So we're gonna try and draw him in and see what's going on because it's never a good thing when an individual's outcast from a group. <clears throat> See him over there? He's literally just sat there on his own, not doing anything, not feeding, not anything. <sighs> Could be a flu, but he's had a load of antiviral. So I can't see it would be. <clears throat> he's had the flu loads of times anyway and he gets the symptoms but he doesn't get the seizure so he doesn't die but he's just being our favourite and we're bonded to him obviously we're worried and there's more and more seagulls now as you can see come Christmas time Nearly the whole lake's covered in seagulls. Um, it's normally then that bring the bird flu, but we've already had it. We might get it again. Who knows? Time will tell. You right, Ed? <clears throat> yeah, it's not normal what he's doing there. Ed! You right, Ed? He's not even going for the food. Come on, Ed, eat something. Ed, you worrying me now. Come on, Ed. This is kind of confirming there's something wrong with him physically because he's the greediest one here. Ed, come on. What's the matter? What's the matter, Ed? Come on. Come on, Ed. That's it, come on. Come on, Ed, wake up. Come on, Ed. You know what this is? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. Are you all right, Ed? I don't think you are. Can I put some on his back? Come on, Ed. Yeah, there's something wrong with Ed. Shit. Not good. So, what we're thinking, bird flu, or maybe he's been beaten up by some of the swans, I know that Bond and his missus, uh, they seem to be in charge of the pack at the moment. He's certainly not responding to me, that's for sure. He's tucking his feet in. Now he's trying to get away from the pack. So I've just turned up because of the food. Ed! Yeah, 
Sim, é um gente. And he's in the wrong place for us to capture him and check him out. Unless he goes up there, we can't do nothing. Oh dear. Um, what, it must be uh, nearly four. We were here at eight o'clock this morning. He was fine. But then we've had that before, haven't we? Fed a, fed, fed a couple one day and they're dead the next. That would be a humongous blow. If anything was to happen to him. See, that one's having a go at him already. He hasn't even done anything. Maybe because they have a go at swans that have something wrong with them, they can sense there's something wrong with them. Maybe something's been wrong with them for a while. That's why recently they've been having a go at him. It's not like the odd one. It's pretty much all of them, even the even the young ones. try and we'll keep monitoring him and trying to uh, attract him up towards the beach that's sort of definitely wrong with them Mute swans are always food orientated, but Ed was an exception. He was like mega food orientated. For him to not want to eat anything, it's like something going on. Might be a vet job. And we hate taking him to the vet because they never come back. <laughs> they never come back. it and see how it goes. We're not going to go home now until we can do something at least. Alright, we'll keep you posted everyone. 